All right, so we're gonna be looking a little bit at using algebraic properties and like terms to simplify expressions. Now when I say algebraic properties, I'm talking about things like the distributive property, the commutative property, the associative property. And there's videos on those, so you can look back at mine. Um, and like terms, I'm also just posting a video on that as well. So we're gonna be combining those two things to really simplify things. So if you had a big algebraic expression, how could you kind of condense it down into a smaller thing? So for example, you might have something like 2 times 4x plus 5 and then plus 3. And if you have this, we want to try to simplify it down to a smaller thing. Now we're going to use one property, that's the distributive property, because I see I have 2 times something that's being added together. That means we have 2 4x plus 5s. So that's the same thing as saying 2 4x's plus 2 times 5. So I would write that out as 2 times 4x plus 2 times 5, and I'm going to bring down the other part that I have. Now, I want to start doing some of the math so I can, I can multiply some of these things. I'm going to follow order of operations. I can't add these first. I have to multiply. So this 2 times 5 is going to give me 10. And this is 2 times 4 times x, which is the same thing as 2 times 4x's, which is the same thing as 8x. So I now have 8x plus 10 plus 3, and I want to keep simplifying. I'm going to remember that I cannot add the 8x and the 10 because those are two different things, but I can add the 10 and the 3. I can add any whole numbers together. I could add any x's together. If there's no other x's, so I'm done with that, but I can add these. So that gives me 8x plus 10 plus 3 would give me 13, and I have now simplified this expression by using that distributive property to rewrite it and then combining the like terms that were present. Okay. Now, alternatively, you could have something very similar. You could have 2 times 4x plus 5 and then plus 3x. Now, you can see, again, this looks very similar. The only difference is really that we have a 3 here and a 3x here. So we would solve it the same way. I would apply the distributive property 2 times 4x plus 2 times 5, bring down that plus 3x, multiply the parts that I can, 8x plus 10, plus 3x, and now I want to combine the terms that are present. Now, I cannot combine that 8x and the 10 because this is whole numbers and this is x's, so I can't do that, but I can combine the 8x and the 3x. We could use the commutative property to tell us that if it's just addition, we're adding these three things together, we can change the order. So I'm going to rewrite this as 8x plus 3x plus 10, and then I can simply add the x's together. That gives me 11x plus 10. And I have simplified, again, what was a larger problem into a smaller problem. Okay. Now, we can also use this. You might see bigger things. Okay. Um, for example, if we had something like 3 times 2x plus 4 plus 2 times 3x plus 5, we can see we have a lot of numbers and a lot of things going on there. I'm going to follow the same process I used before. I see two things that look a lot like this distributive property right here. So I'm going to just apply the distributive property. 3 goes to the 2, 3 goes to that, 2 is going to go to the 3, 2 is going to go to that. So I can rewrite this as 3 times 2x plus 3 times 4 plus 2 times 3x plus 2 times 5, and then I'm going to do the math that I can. I can multiply some of these together. I get 6x here, plus 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 times 3x is another 6x, plus 2 times 5 gives me 10. So now I'm going to combine the like terms. Now I can use the commutative property because I have four things I'm adding together. I can change the order, so I'm going to switch the places of these. And that gives me 6x plus 6x plus 12 plus 10. And then I'm going to combine those like terms. So I've got 6x's plus 6 more x's. Gives me a total of 12x's plus 10 plus, sorry, 12 plus 10 gives me a total of 22. So I've taken this much larger problem and I've just simplified it down. I've applied those properties of the distributive property and the commutative property. And then I added together the like terms, only adding together the whole numbers and adding together the x's.